Good morning, my loves. Happy Friday. It's about 6.15 this morning at the lake. Sun's starting to come up. Another glorious day. I think the high today is 106. I think that's right. A little warm. What do you expect? Autumn in Arizona. Roasty toasty. I am wearing red. On Fridays, I wear red to honor all active duty military, all law enforcement, firefighters, first responders, and their amazing families. We can't do this without y'all. So thank you. We're talking self-care because it's Friday. It has been, I'm going to be polite and say the week's been challenging. It's been difficult. I've had a lot of really tough cases. I don't want to say cases, situations with clients that are really struggling with some big stuff. And it's been a tough week. I'm glad it's the weekend. So we're going to do things this weekend to make our hearts smile. And we're going to start that today. What will you do today to make your heart smile? I have a cup of coffee in front of me. That's starting it out. I'm wearing my favorite fragrance for me. That makes my heart smile. That counts. Love it. Do things today to make your heart smile. Grab, you know, a latte, some donuts, something, a treat on your way to the office. Heck, get something for the whole office. Why not? Make their heart smile too. Do things to make your heart smile. It's time to rest, relax, and rejuvenate. Self-care. Whatever that means for you, okay? I'm going to kick back. I'm going to watch some football. I love college ball. I will be watching football all weekend. You bitcha. Absolutely. I love it. It makes my heart smile. What are you going to do for self-care? I would also like, if you would be so kind, if there's someone in your life you care about, tell them. Use your words. Do not assume people know how you feel. Because, honey, they don't. I deal with this all the time with children, small children, that their parents aren't capable of saying, I love you. The kids don't know. Don't assume because you drive somebody to school. You fix them dinner. That, that doesn't mean you love them. That means you're taking care of them. They need to hear the words. Children need to hear those words. And sweetheart, so do adults. Tell people how you feel. Be a grown-up and use your words. You can do this. Lastly, if you would please, do something that will feed and nurture your soul, not your ego. So often we are so consumed with ego. Uh, we get caught up in immediate gratification that you forget about feeding and nurturing your soul. Yeah, that's not a good thing. We surround ourselves with people that flatter us, that tell you what you want to hear at least to your face. They're just feeding your ego. Friends, true friends, my best friends, feed and nurture my soul. Absolutely. We accept each other for who we are as we are. That's feeding and nurturing your soul. Agreeing to disagree, not judging people, not being overly critical. Think about it. It's been a long week. The weekend's in front of us. Do something to make your heart smile because, honey, you're worth it.